Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. You know, I don't know if this is some wild theory or if I'm onto something, but the word money laundering keeps popping up in my mind when I think about the Democrat establishment, frankly, the deep state establishment as a whole. Why is it that all of these hundred million dollar, billion dollar schemes always seem to be connected to the Democrats in some way or fashion? I mean, Black Lives Matter is a great example. Where'd the money go? Well, a lot of people would tell you Mark Elias probably knows and Act Blue probably has a good idea. There always seems to be one common denominator with all of these money scams, and that's the DNC. The Democrat Party somehow always seem to be the beneficiaries, and it seems like that's the case once again, this time with the massive FTX US crypto scam or crypto platform scam, which was marketed as one of the most reputable crypto exchanges, but turns out it was a massive money generating slush fund for the DNC and left-wing activist causes and groups. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean by that as we take a look at the fallout of FTX US, the founder Sam Bankman Freed, and his connection to the Democrat establishment. We've got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, friends, so here's a little bit of background. 30-year-old billionaire loses his entire fortune overnight as his Bahamas-based cryptocurrency empire implodes. Cryptocurrency exchange platform FTX experienced a liquidity crisis that led to the company company's bankruptcy and erased the fortune of Sam Bankman Freed, its young billionaire founder. Although it seems like he was a billionaire just on paper. FTX, which is headquartered in the Bahamas, was launched in 2019 and accrued more than 1 million users by 2022. Users suddenly demanded $6 billion in withdrawals after an article published by Coindesk revealed last week that the two arms of Bankman Freed's cryptocurrency empire, FTX and Alameda Research, had significant overlap on their balance sheets in the form of cryptocurrency FTT, which FTX invented. Rival firm Binance, which had been planning to purchase FTX, announced that it would discharge all holdings in the coin and eventually reversed course on the acquisition after 24 hours of looking into the company's financial statements. And so essentially, it's one big scam. It's one big fraud. FTX was taking people's money and they promised that they were never going to do stuff like yield farming or putting people's money into risky ventures. And of course, behind people's backs, that's exactly what they did. All the money seemed to vaporize. And once the bad news started to roll in and people wanted to withdraw their money from the FTX platform, well, it turns out that FTX didn't have the liquidity. And so, of course, investors got scammed. Their money just poof, disappeared. Just in. FTX owed $9 billion in liabilities while holding under a billion dollars in assets prior to its bankruptcy filing. The money was just gone. FTX promised its investors that it was being responsible with their cash. Yet here is the, yes, CEO of FTX. XUS's sister company, Alameda Research, essentially bragging on a Zoom call that they were essentially just memeing with people's money, with unsustainable yield farming programs, and whatever the dumb crypto trend of the day seemed to be. A big argument sort of back in whenever it was, June or July, about like, should we even do yield farming at all? Uh, and I was kind of like, oh, I don't know, this whole thing seems like weird, and it, aren't there risks risks and like what if these platforms get hacked and like it's like such a huge pain operationally uh and you know accounting wise and all of that and just like mentally you know adjusted myself to you know okay we're farming comp uh and then it's like oh now we're farming these things that are like foods and then now we're farming these like whatever weird like meta food things i don't know <laughs> yeah i feel like i did manage to get yeah, get away from my initial skepticism and, and of embracing the mindset of like, great, going to like go out and look for like whatever, like the weirdest, dumbest thing people are talking about today. And like, that's going to be the thing I'm working on today. By the way, this coming from Alameda Research's CEO, the person who doesn't use math, uses only elementary math in her job and doesn't believe in stop losses. Yeah, absolutely could pull it off without my math degree. <laughs> use very little math. Um, use a lot of like uh, elementary school math. Being comfortable with risk is very important. Um, <laughs> we tend not to have things like stop losses. I think those aren't necessarily a great risk management tool. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? But if that wasn't bad enough, a crypto scam of massive proportions, we're talking literal billions of dollars. If stealing money from your investors wasn't enough, what makes it even worse is that money was going to Democrats. 
literally. Embattled cryptocurrency founder spent $40 million on midterms. Sam Bankman Freed in the 2020 and 2022 elections, being the second biggest mega donor for the DNC, right under George Soros. The left wing media, of course, hailing him as a hero. Here he is on Chuck Todd's show. And joining me now is Sam Bankman Freed. He's the CEO of the cryptocurrency exchange FTX. You may have seen their TV ads occasionally and one of America's youngest billionaires. And recently he's used that money to become one of the biggest donors in this year's midterm elections. Sam. A man hailed by the Democrat media establishment. Here he is on Fortune magazine. The same way the media constantly promotes these scammers like Theranos scammer Elizabeth Holmes. Here's Politico before the election. How the newest mega donor wants to change Washington. But the title should be how the Democrats new mega donor wants to change Washington and change the world with money he stole from you suckers. We're now learning from Reuters breaking FTX had a backdoor built into its accounting software by Sam Bankman Freed, which he used to move billions without triggering alerts to other staff and auditors. Where do you think that money was going? We already know a good chunk of it was heading straight to the DNC, but you get a real understanding of what was going on when you watch this video that YouTuber Nas Daily did promoting Mr. Sam Bankman Freed as the most charitable and generous compassionate liberal billionaire. But Sam is not a traditional billionaire because he believes in the concept of earn to give. Which means his goal as a human is to make as much money as possible just to give it away. Earn to give. And that's exactly what he's doing. So let's say that you have $100 and you want to figure out what you can do with it to help the world. Earning to Give is thinking about which causes, which charities save the most lives per dollar. This $100 can go as far as it possibly can to help the world. Last year, this 29-year-old guy donated $50 million. Next year, he's planning to donate $500 million a year. And next decade, he will probably give away more than $10 billion. The amount of good that you can do uh, for the future of the world is, is really large, and it's way more than you can do to actually make yourself happy with anything like that amount of money. And he is funding everything you can think of. Global warming. It's one of the biggest problems that we have to tackle together as a world. COVID-19 preparedness. We have to be ready for the next pandemic. Neglected tropical diseases. More than a billion people suffer from them. We have to eliminate these diseases. And of course, animal welfare. Animals deserve to live just like we do. It's also why I'm vegan. Sam doesn't need the money to buy a Lamborghini or to buy a Rolex or to impress his friends. In fact, his car is a Toyota Corolla. Hold on, Where, where's your car? It's uh, that one there. That's like what, a Toyota? Uh, yeah, it's a Corolla. Why don't you buy a Lamborghini, man? I didn't have any particular need for one. He wants to get rich in order to impact the world and change it. Oh, he's a vegan. He's just trying to save animals. He's trying to solve the world's problems with money he stole from you that he's now apparently, allegedly, donating to all of the left-wing activist causes. But don't worry, he's trustworthy because he drives a Corolla. How ridiculous. And to make this whole thing even crazier, now as Sam Bankman Freed and FTX are on the hook for billions of dollars and investors are scrambling to get their money off the platform, very conveniently, FTX has all of a sudden been hacked. FTX has been hacked. All funds seem to be gone. The money is just gone. Now funds are being pulled into a multi-sig at this specific crypto wallet. Hundreds of millions of dollars. Well, isn't that convenient? All of a sudden, FTX is hacked and the money is being pulled in an anonymous crypto wallet. Oh, that sounds totally believable. But the question once again on my mind is where's the money going? And how much of it is going to left-wing activist groups and DNC campaigns? We already know publicly over 50 million has been funneled to the DNC from the 2020 election to the 2022. How much are we unaware of? Just like we saw with Black Lives Matter. How much of this money is conveniently being funneled through these back doors and this supposed hack left-wing globalist causes across the globe? We don't have the full details and I certainly can't say definitively that I know what's going on here. But one thing I know for sure is that once again, this 
stinks to the high heavens. Something is fishy. And somehow, once again, Democrats seem to be involved. Once again, we need massive investigations. We need full accountability. But I highly doubt we're going to get much of anything. That's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel if you guys are up for it. I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.